Artists felt a need to control the whole print process from conception to finished work. Graham Scholes is of this school and since 1994 has been perfecting his skills creating hanger prints. This is a watercolor sketch I did in preparation for the key line. After I've uh, finished the color sketch, I then do a key line drawing. This is a road map of all of the color areas uh, that will be used for the print. Preparation to transfer the design to the wooden block that will become plates. The design of these traditional chisels is hundreds of years old. They have been made so that the handle slides open, revealing the steel blade. With my, my Hanga 2, this is a, a knife with a bevel on it, and it cuts all my lines on an angle, which is vitally important so that the wood will not break down in the printing process. Where I've cut with the Hanga 2, I want to remove the material, uh, and the bull nose is the chisel that I use for that purpose. These are uh, inking brushes which are specially made for woodblock print making. Uh, the hair in them is horse hair, it's the tail of horses. The paper that I use is a Hosho paper. It's handmade in Japan, it's made by the Yamaguchi family. They've been making this paper for over 300 years. Uh, Yamaguchi-san has been making paper for me since 1994. Yamaguchi is using the Suketa a device that enables making a sheet of paper. Okay, I've already printed the light blue on some, some sheets of paper. Now, uh, this is the second blue. And lay the ink on with my brush. Drop rice paste down. This is a brush with only rice paste on it. It's where the bukashi area on the print will appear. And this is the inking brush. These are transparent watercolors. I will take and position the paper down on the plate. The right hand kentle and the bottom kentle. Let it float down onto the plate and burnish it. This tool, a baron, is used to burnish the paper so the printmaker gets a transfer of pigment onto the print. Lift that up. Now this is the little Bukashi area. And that represents the mist below the mountains. Now I've already uh, printed the yellow plate here. And uh, I've dried this plate now because I, I want to put a blue bokashi right along the top of the sky. So I apply the pigment along the top and rice paste, rice paste. And then I will take the inking brush and blend together in the center, causing the gradation of color on the plate, which is the bokashi area of the sky. Taking the paper and positioning it in the corner cantle and on the bottom cantle and let the paper float down and burnish it. There we go. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely Bukashi area through there. Now we're almost there. This is um, the lay of the darker blue for the distant mountains and the point of land with the purple uh, rocks and some of the green foliage. This, uh, this is um, 12 colors at this point. Now we're going into the last three colors to finish this print. Uh, picking up the color and a little color on the sailboat. Pick up the red, put the red of the buildings, the roofs, and there, and then the dark purple on this foreground point of land. Or there we go. Now, you can do this. You can print three colors. You got to be light on your feet, and you got to be fast until you get it down. There we go, and we'll burnish that around and around. 
Well, that's 17 colors. And 17 colors is about the average number of colors you need for these kinds of prints. I subtitled Trial Island, The Wanda Fuca Straits Yukioi, or The Floating World.